And welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here. It's the fifth video on core two differentiation, and I'm doing a second example of applying differentiation to solve problems in context. Make sure you've taken time to watch video four and digest that, and let's try another example. So, we have a large tank in the shape of a cuboid is to be made from 54 meters squared of metal. With these questions, I think it's always, always, always a good idea to draw a picture. So we've got a large tank in the shape of a cuboid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a sketch of that there. So I'm just going to draw a cuboid. Imagine it's like this. This just might help me label a diagram. Now it's to be made from 54 meters squared of sheet metal. The tank has original base and no top. So here we've just got an open top. No top, but we do have a base. The height of the tank is to be X meters. So this height here is to be X meters. Two of the opposite vertical faces are square, so actually this uh, needed to be a square. So I'm just going to readjust my pictures to make it look more like a square now. Something like this. That looks slightly more like a square. So clearly if that's x here, for this to be a square, that has to be x. Okay. So the area of this must be x squared. So the area of this must be x squared. It says show that the volume of the tank is given by that formula. Okay, there's one thing in this diagram that we don't know. For the volume, it would be the area of the face multiplied by the depth of the prism. So we'll just call this another letter y. We'll introduce our own letter. And we'll say clearly, therefore, that the volume is x times x, x squared, multiplied by y, so x squared y. But we want the volume just with x's in it, so we're going to have to eliminate this y. The aim of our game is to eliminate that y. But we're also told something about the area. The area is going to be 54 meters squared. So let's work out the area of this thing and think about what we've got in this shape. We're going to have a front face, and hopefully you can see a back face there. So that area there, we're going to have an x squared on front and an x squared on the back. We're going to have 2x squared. Now we're going to have this side and the equivalent of that on this side here, which will be x times y. So we're going to have plus 2xy. Um, and then we're not going to have the top, remember. We're told that the thing only has a bottom, and that again is xy. So we have plus another xy, which we can simplify to area is equal to 2x squared plus 3xy. Now, actually know the area, it's 54, so we can finish off by saying that 54 is equal to 2x squared y, 2x squared plus 3xy. Now at this point, just take a second to see if you can think what to do. Well, I could eliminate y here, couldn't I? I could make y the subject, and whatever I get for y the subject, I could put it in here, and I'm going to get this formula, I'm sure. So let's try and do that here. I'm going to make y the subject, and if I do that, I'm subtracting 2x squared, and I'm dividing by 3x. Hopefully you can see that 54 subtract 2x squared divided by 3x is going to just leave y on its own on this side. So I'm going to call that equation 3, I'm going to call that equation 1, and I'm going to call that equation 2. And I'm going to say sub 3 into 1. So our volume is x squared y, so it's going to be x squared multiplied not by y, but this thing here. So 54 subtract 2x squared over 3x. Right, there's an x dividing on bottom here, and an x times an x on top here, so it could cancel with one of the x's. And then I can multiply in by the x. So I'm going to say that volume is equal to 54x subtract 2x cubed 
and don't forget the divide by 3. If we look up here, it wants us to divide each term by 3. 54 divided by 3 is 18, so that's 18x. Subtract 2 thirds x cubed. I've got exactly what I was asked for in the question. Okay, moving on to part B. Given that x can vary, use differentiation to find the maximum or minimum value of y. Justify the value found is a maximum. So for part B, we're going to we state our volume is equal to 18x. This is the easy part now. We've done all the hard part. Cubed. So to find a turning point, solve dv by dx equals 0. So dv by dx, we have to work that out carefully. That's a power of 1 there. So dv by dx is going to be equal to 18. Subtract. So keep, um, keep the 2 thirds. Bring down the power of 3. Keep the x and reduce the power by 1. And that 2 thirds, 2 divided by, there's a divide by 3 here and a times by 3. They're going to cancel. And we're going to get that dv by dx is equal to 18. Subtract 2x squared. So we're going to solve dv by dx is 0. So we're going to solve uh, 18 subtract 2x squared equals 0. Add 2x squared to both sides. 18 equals 2x squared. Divide both sides by 2. x squared equals 9. And then take the square root. I'm going to get x is positive or negative 3. Now given that x is a height, you have to ignore negative 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3 centimetres. It's actually a value. So, we found x, but they want us to find the maximum or minimum value of y. So we're nearly there. Therefore, we go y is equal to um, 18. I'll use our formula here. Multiply by 3. Subtract 2 thirds, 3 cubed, like that. And I think it gives us our volume. It's going to be equal to 36 centimetres cubed. Now the last part, it asks us to justify it if it's a maximum or minimum. We're going to work out d2v by dx squared. Now remember that dv by dx was equal to 18 subtract 2x squared. So differentiate that one more time and we get ourselves negative 4x. And we're going to work out d2v by dx squared for the particular x value we found in the question. It was x is 3. So we're working out at x is 3, and we get negative 4 multiplied by 3, which is equal to negative 12. Therefore, v is a maximum at x equals uh, 3. And we are done for that question, and we have um, um, completed this application question. Hope you found it useful. Thanks to those for watching.